Hi, I'm Mike with Geektastic. I'm sitting here with Mike Bush, who is one of the facilitators for uh, Code and Coffee here in Chicago. Hi, Mike. Thanks for, for sitting down with me. Can you tell me a little bit about what Code and Coffee is? Um, so Code and Coffee is a group of developers that meet up um, once a week um, and just basically hack on whatever the heck we like to hack on. So um, you'll find people doing all kinds of like from beginners to advanced people doing Ruby, Clojure, JavaScript, C, crazy stuff. I don't know, like <laughs> reading blog posts, yeah. writing emails. Um, it's just a time to get together in the morning once a week uh, with other people who are also developers. And how does one sign up for? So our group is very, very ad hoc. Um, it meets at 7 a.m., so uh, the expectation is not that anyone should need to RSVP or yeah. commit to being there. Like, if you wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning, I don't care if you really make it there. Um, I hope that you do, but yeah. uh, but I can't, like... Yes. So it's, it's very a, it's casual. A weird, yeah, it's very casual. It's a weird expectation to, like, say, yes, you need to RSVP for this 7 a.m. thing. It's just mm -hmm. too much pressure. Yeah, so it's... it's where it's like in the evening, it might be a little bit more formal and structured. This is more, hey, let's get together and kind of hack on stuff. Yeah. And, and the, or even socialize. Yeah, so the, the, one of the things about no RSVP is also very little, there's very little structure to a code and coffee. Like we don't have to organize speakers. Mm -hmm. We don't have to organize food and, uh, and that. We just pick a, pick a coffee house and go there. Yeah. We choose Starbucks because they have open Wi-Fi and that's all there. And it's centrally located here in Chicago. But aside from that, anybody could do this at any coffee shop. Yeah. Yeah, I, but isn't there a uh, there's there is kind of an loose affiliation, or am I thinking of Geek Breakfast or something like that? Or, I know that there's also a Geek Breakfast. Okay, in all right, Chicago, I was confused. But there isn't. Thing. We I don't do anything with Geek Breakfast. Okay. But is is like Code and Coffee just a unique thing to Chicago, or is there? A, is this um, something that's no, still... so Code and Coffee. Um, my first experience with Code and Coffee was in Columbus, Ohio, where um, Tim Wingfield. Um, organized that meetup. Um, it's done mostly the same here as it was in Columbus. Tim just picked a coffee shop and told a bunch of people he'd be there hacking on Ruby stuff, so a bunch of us showed up. Um, Tim sometimes chooses topics, which I don't do here in Chicago, um, mm -hmm. but most of the time it's very free form yeah. in, in both things. I tried to keep it with a lot of the way that um, Tim did his. Um, because I liked that, and I missed that when I came here to Chicago, and we yeah. didn't have our own group. Okay, cool. Um, with, with comparing to, do you enjoy that the fact that it's less structured versus going to a user group? Do you go to any user groups? And I mean, was this was this coming out of uh, like ah, uh, you know, I go to a meeting and then I have to listen to speakers, or is it like oh, I just want to get up and just do something when my head's fresh and. Yeah, so I go to a lot of user groups, or what I consider a lot of user groups. Um, I know there are people who go to three or four a week, and that's crazy, but whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, so so my group was much more about like just getting together very casually. I often find that at user groups, like I'm there and interested about the talk, but really I'd rather be just hacking with the the people who are there. Mm -hmm. um, and so this group is sort of like, just don't worry about any of that talk stuff. And let's get right mm -hmm. to like hacking and socializing yeah. and sort of networking with and meeting new people. Mm -hmm. it sometimes gives you an opportunity to teach newcomers. Like it's a great way to engage the community without like having the pressure of a full out meeting to organize. Yeah. And I think you, you joked uh, that Corey Haynes said it was his favorite, uh, favorite user group or favorite uh Morning activity with I coders. did not joke. Corey has said that on Twitter. <laughs> okay, cool. and in blog posts. So it's, it is. It's well documented. Yeah, if I if I didn't have such a commute, I would definitely come down. But it is. Uh, it always sounds like fun. You guys tweet, and it's people are saying, "Oh, I did, you know, hacked on this thing or did this thing for the first time." Uh, I, I see those in the Twitter stream a lot. It's definitely brutal to wake up at seven a.m. in the morning if you're like a nine o'clock a.m. person. Uh, getting to work that's it's two hours earlier than normal yeah um, one of our guys who was at the original meeting Blake Smith uh, he actually had to be up at 4 30 a.m. to make it to the to the uh, train station by 5 30 so that he could be at the meeting by 7 
Yeah. That takes commitment, and yeah. <laughs> I do not fault Blake for no longer coming. <laughs> like, that's just ridiculous. Okay. Well, thank you very much for talking with me. Yeah, it's been fun.